Hello, Taurus, and welcome to Blunt Sagittarius. My name is Robin, and Taurus, today we're going to do your monthly reading for May, or May, what the hell am I saying, for March 2023. Um, this will be your love reading, so let's talk about you and your love life. Let's see what's going on in March, what's coming your way, what you need to know. Spirit guys, what's going on with Taurus in the month of March 2023? Talk to us. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Okay, let's see if you're ending something, going into something new, or if this is the ending of a partnership. Let's see what's going on here with Taurus, spirit guides. What is this energy for Taurus here? Um, and Taurus, for those of you who are interested, I am doing personal readings if you want one. The link is in the description box below. Wow. We have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Ten of Wands. We have the Fool. I feel like you're done letting someone else's problems be your own here. Um... Seven of Pentacles, yeah, you've given up on something. But the Ace of Cups is there, so there's new opportunities coming through. Talk to us, what else is happening here for Taurus? The Moon. Ah, there is new love. So, one more. The Nine of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, and Temperance. Wow, Temperance is, I feel like what you've been waiting for is about to come through. I do feel you've given up on somebody, though. Or a situation. The Five of Pentacles in reverse is staying optimistic through these obstacles, these challenges. Um, but there's a partnership that didn't go anywhere here. And I, I, like I said, I just feel like you, it's not, you're not going to let it burden you anymore. You want to say anything else? Yeah, you're, look at you. Look at you. You, I feel like you tried to work on this. You were messaging them, talking to them, trying to work through these obstacles. And you just hit a wall. Um, and you're kind of moving in a different direction, determined to find love somewhere else. You are determined to find love somewhere else. Well, that was weird. Why did I do that? <laughs> a little glitch in the matrix. Yeah. Well, because look at you're determined to find love and it's not with this person. You've given up on that person um, and you're moving on. So you're moving on to someone new. So who's the Ace of Cups? Who's someone new? You're moving to someone who's going to give you an equal give and take. You might have been doing all the work. You might have been trying too hard, um, but it's just you're not done. You're done. Yeah, your new beginning. Whoa, could be with the Taurus. Or sorry, with the Libra. There's the Wheel of Fortune and the Sun. So four major arcanas. Taurus, get ready for some life-changing love. There's major changes here in the month of um, March. So four major arcanas. Major arcanas in a reading are uh, major changes. They're not just little changes or minor things. And we got the Wheel and the Sun. This is bliss. This is cloud nine. This is... This is it's a really good energy. <laughs> so this is the new beginning that you've been waiting for. So expect some major changes in the department of love. Yeah, eight of pentacles. Someone who's going to work on it with you. Someone who's who's not going to put their walls up. Who's not going to be guarded. They're not. They're they're just gonna, they're gonna they're gonna put the effort in. Um. So somebody wants to invest in you. You got a really good connection coming. I mean, it could be with a Pisces or a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Like I said. Moving on from that past, kind of giving up on that energy is the best decision that you'll ever have. It was out of your control. You can't change other people. Wow. Just releasing that past here, Taurus. Is bro what? It stayed there. <laughs> they all stayed there. I shuffled. Maybe I didn't shuffle enough, but whatever. The point is, it's out of your control what happened. And you've realized you can't control that person. You can't control what's going on. The only thing you control is how you react and changing your choices and walking away from them. Um brings in huge changes unexpected even because that wheel of fortune is like huge good luck luck is in your favor love is in the air this person's put it's almost like wow the page of cups and the ace of wands this is not only physical attraction but an emotional connection so this is the real deal taurus this is i like the way you look but i like your heart and your soul too you're a good fucking person but you're also really sexy so it's someone that's balanced a really healthy relationship for you coming through and the moon is, again, it's an energy if you're not expecting it, you don't see it coming. It might surprise you because I feel you might have been caught on this person for a little bit, um, trying to work through it. They were lying. Uh, they were inconsistent. They were not, they were just not putting the effort in. So um, maybe you're not expecting to meet someone like you, but you are. They could be a water sign, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Can't remember if I said that, but after the obstacles, after the rocky waters comes your love, comes what you deserve. Yeah, you're blocking yeah, you're, you're, <laughs> this person's not going to be guarded. You're blocking the past and after you deserve this, right? You deserve someone who's going to put their heart out there. The Knight of Cups is very romantic, very sweet. You know, romantic dinners coming in your, your way, romantic evenings. They're not going to block this. And again, she's blind. So you don't expect this. You're not seeing this coming because I think that you've been focused there. 
But look at this. Again, her eyes are closed. This person's upset, but she doesn't care. Look at this. Look at all these people with their eyes closed. What's up with this? Um, someone who's your... Someone... You don't have to guess how they feel. That's what I feel. You know when you're with someone and you're like, how do they feel about me? Or do they like me? What are they thinking? Uh, you're not going to be wondering those. And that's how you know it's the right person. Because the right person's not going to make you wonder how they feel. You're going to know how they feel. It's like, you know, in like a walk to remember when he's like, I can feel her love. It's like the wind. Oh man, I'm getting all sweet and romantic and gushy on you. But I do feel you have a very sweet, romantic, gushy person coming through here to show you what real love is and how you deserve to be treated. So this is a really beautiful energy. It could be a Sagittarius, could be a water sign, could be a Pisces. Definitely could be a water sign. But someone who's going to give to you the way you deserve to be given to. Someone who's going to treat you. I just saw a high priestess. So you got someone with a lot of water in their chart coming through. So someone very sweet, very kind. Like I said, they have a good heart. But they also look good on the outside. You like their vessel, you like their soul. <laughs> Let's get a few messages here, Taurus, and we'll see where you are in the month of April. But you know, walking away from this person is the best decision you will have made um, because you're you're going to open your heart up to someone who's special here. Uh, what does Taurus need to? And I got goosebumps when I said that, so I'm not sure how long you've been holding on to that. What does Taurus need to surrender to here, Spirit Guides? Talk to us in the month of March. Oh, we got a couple things. Sleep and rest. Well, it says rest and sleep. I don't know why I said it backwards. To prevent burnout, slow down. Honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind, your body, and your spirit. And surrender spirit. Once you've done everything you can to achieve your goal, turn the situation over the, to the divine. Let spirit work its magic, right? Once we kind of release control to the universe and just surrender and say, spirit, guide me to the right person for me. Like a lot of us, a lot of us manifest a specific person and, and sometimes that leaves us stuck, right? So it's like once we just let the universe guide us to that right person, when we just release control, boom. That's what happens for you, baby. Let's get the uh, caring connection between you and this new person. <gasps> Your soul is preparing to reconnect. So trust the process. You've known this person before. Um, you have a past life with this person. So you'll feel that instant chemistry, that instant connection with this person. Like I said, and I got goosebumps again. I'm chilled head to toe here, Taurus. So you got something really great coming here in the month of March. Um, okay, energy oracle message here. There it is. Walking away. Card number 27. Give me one second because it's in reverse. When one comes out of the deck, the message is in the book. So hold on a second. Okay. This card signals that you may have been feeling very stuck in a situation. There might be a job or relationship that was no longer resonating with you, but out of habit, fear, or perhaps, sorry, yet out of habit or perhaps fear, you allowed yourself to stay when it might have been healthier to walk away. Habit and familiarity are compelling forces, often causing people to ignore their intuition and even dishonor their personal feelings. This is a time of honest investigation. Consider all the factors in the present situation. Perhaps the timing isn't quite right and there may be some purpose in staying a while longer, but don't deceive yourself about your motivations. Fear-based decisions don't work out in your highest interests. You could also be stuck in a long-term habit or unhealthy pattern. So be aware that you always have the option and the responsibility to let go of any thought or behavior that does not honor you. Whenever you walk away from the negativity and what doesn't serve you, you always move towards greater happiness. That's the motherfucking theme of this reading. You know what I'm saying? That is the theme of this reading. Okay. Sorry. I get a little excited. Let's see where you are um, in April. Let's get your potential outcome, Taurus. When I say potential, there is always... Oh, that was a crappy cut. There's always free will. <laughs> Let's redo that. And when I say outcome, where are you in the month of April? How are things going with this new soul connection with this new person? How are things... Uh, how are you doing? Spirit guides, where's Taurus and this new person in the month of April? What do you want to say? What do you want to say? One more. Two of Wands. Wow. So the Two of Swords is in reverse. The Wheel of Fortune's in reverse. The Ace of Swords in reverse. The Emperor. Then we have the Two of Wands and we have the Nine of Wands. And what's he looking at? <laughs> His soulmate. Um, you're letting go of um, confusion. You may have felt down in your luck, felt like it was never going to happen. Um, but you've let go of that energy. That energy is gone. These are all in reverse. A lot of people get scared of reversals, but they're not always a bad thing. And this trio here is not a bad reversal. You've let go of that. You've let go of the, of the confusion, the frustration, the person who made you confused. 
You've taken control and you're planning your future with this person. If you're the empress, this is your emperor. If you're the emperor, this is your empress. You found husband or wife material. Somebody, and like I said, the emperor doesn't play games. You're not wondering what the emperor is feeling about you because he's the emperor. He's the empress. He's gonna, you're going to know. And they're planning their future. You're planning your future together. Um, you're looking at your soulmate. A little bit guarded, a little bit wounded. You definitely do not do have some walls up here, and that's okay. It takes time to develop trust and healing from these things. But look where he's looking. Right out in the new cup of love. Right out of past life connection. Somebody that he's known before. Somebody that he feels a strong bond with. So you're moving forward with this person. This is husband or wife potential here. There, there's a future that you're planning and you're not confused anymore. You're feeling open and ready to receive what the universe is bringing to you. That's what I got for you, Taurus. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you like my style, I ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Helps my channel to grow. So thank you so much um, for all your support. Let's get you a yes or no question to end this. So when I do a yes or no question, if the card comes up, it's yes. If it comes down, it's no. It doesn't matter what the card is. It's just a yes or a no. Spirit guides, yes or no? What's the answer for Taurus, baby? No, that's what I have. I really do wish you the best of luck. Until next time.